A stoma is a surgically created opening in the body between the skin and a hollow viscous. Stoma is Greek word meaning mouth. Abdominal stomas are mainly used to divert feces or urine outside the body where it can be collected in a bag at the skin. Stomas fall into three types. Colostomy. Ileostomy. Eurostomy. Each stoma can also be either permanent or temporary. A stoma's position, appearance and contents can point to which type of stoma it is and provide clues as to the patient's previous surgical history. Colostomy. As the name suggests these stomas involve the large bowel or colon. One of the hallmarks of colostomies is that they are found in the left iliac fossa. The content of a colostomy bag should be solid as the feces have had time to travel through the colon undergoing water absorption. Colostomies can also be identified because they will be flush to the skin, not sticking out like ileostomies. This is because the enzymes are less alkali, so should not damage the skin. Permanent end colostomy versus temporary end colostomy. You cannot differentiate between permanent end colostomies and temporary end colostomies clinically, so in this case you do have to ask the patient or check the notes. Permanent end colostomies are often done in cases of abdominopurinal resection of large rectal cancers leading to the removal of the entire rectum. Temporary end colostomies are done to rest the bowel such as in diverticulitis or obstruction by a tumor. As part of a two-stage Hartman S procedure the rectum and bowel will be re-anastomosed at a later date. Loop colostomy. Loop colostomies are done to protect distal anastomoses after recent surgery. A loop of bowel will be brought to the surface and half opened. This allows the fecal matter to drain into the stoma bag without reaching the distal anastomoses. A supporting rod is used to secure the two parts to the skin. The two parts are still attached as this is a temporary procedure which will be reversed. Ileostomy. Formed of small bowel. Usually located in the right iliac fossa. Not as much water absorbed in the small bowel, so the contents of the stoma back are liquid and lighter. Because the enzymes in the feces are toxic to the skin the bowel is not secured flush to the skin but has a spout sticking out from the abdominal wall. This allows feces to drain without touching the skin. Temporary versus permanent end ileostomy. Permanent ileostomies are done after a panbrictocolectomy for ulcerative colitis or familial adenomatous polyposis. Once again a temporary end ileostomy cannot be distinguished from a permanent end ileostomy, but is used instead in emergency bowel resection where it is considered unsafe to form an anastomosis with the remaining bowel at that time example. Intra-abdominal sepsis or bleeding. Loop ileostomy. Temporary loop ileostomies are done in the same way as in temporary loop colostomies, so, you will see two openings instead of one, but they will be connected and are used to protect distal anastomoses. Eurostomies. Used after a cystectomy bladder removal. Located in right iliac fossa. Bag contains urine not faces, this is the only way to differentiate from ileostomy. An ileal conduit is used to root the urine out of the abdomen into the bag. This involves a piece of ileum being resected then attached to the skin with a spout protruding. The ureters are then attached to the other end of the tube of bowel. The urine then drains via the piece of bowl into the stoma bag. Stoma examination. Introduction. Introduce yourself to the patient. Confirm patient details name slash date of birth. Explain procedure and obtain consent. Wash hands. 
Expose patient adequately. Position patient supine at a 45 degree angle. Ask the patient. Do you have any pain in your tummy? Have you had any problems with your stoma? Inspection. Sight. Left iliac fossa, colostomy. Right iliac fossa, ileostomy or urostomy. Number of lumens. One and in right iliac fossa, end ileostomy or urostomy. One and in left iliac fossa, end colostomy. Two joint and in right iliac fossa, loop ileostomy. Two joint and in left iliac fossa, loop colostomy. Spout. Spout present. Ileostomy contents toxic to skin. Urostomy. No spout, colostomy. Effluent what is coming out. Hard stool colostomy. Soft stool ileostomy. Urine urostomy. Remember to feel the back. Surrounding skin quality. Any inflammation or excoriations. Infection slash poor stoma maintenance. Any evidence of complications. Hemorrhage we will see peristomal skin inflammation. Parastomal hernia there is risk of bowel strangulation and necrosis. Prolapse can occur due to high output. Retraction means there is obstruction. Auscultation. Auscultate for bowel sounds. Absent bowel sounds means owls is present. High-pitched tinkling indicates obstruction. Summarize findings. We can remember this using a mnemonic. Some naughty surgeons never stay in the evenings and like porches. Sight. Number of lumens. Spout. Nature of effluent. State of surrounding skin. Evidence of complication. Likely type of stoma. Possible pathology slash procedure. Example. This patient has a stoma in the left iliac fossa with one lumen and no spout. The effluent is solid feces and the surrounding skin is intact with no evidence of inflammation. There is no evidence of complications. This is most likely an end colostomy. To complete my examination I would perform a full gastrointestinal exam. Indications for stoma. Input. Feeding black percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy. Lavage appendicostomy. Output. Diversion protect distal anastamosis previously contaminated bowel, technical considerations. Decompression. Exteriorization permanent stoma, urinary diversion, ileal conduit. Preparation for stoma formation. Psychological slash physical preparation. Stoma nurse. Marking of sight with patient standing up as must be able to see the stoma. 5 cm from umbilicus. Away from scars or skin creases. Away from bony points or waistline of clothes. Sight easily accessible to patient not under a large fold of fat. Must be within rectus sheath. Complications of stomas. General complications. Stoma diarrhea, water, slash electrolyte imbalance, hypokalemia. Nutritional disorders. Stones following terminal ilectomy. Psychosexual. Specific complications. Hyakemia slash gangrene. Hemorrhage. Retraction. Prolapse slash intersusception. Parastomal hernia. Stenosis leads to constipation. Skin excoriation.
Rehabilitation following placement of stoma. Normal diet. Back should be changed once slash twice daily. Ileostomies should have base plate under back changed every five days and back changed daily. Psychological and psychosexual support.